Oh, it's recording, guys. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Daniel Quabbin and James Bailey, and I'm the founder of The Palace of the Dogs. I'm a writer, um, freelance journalist, and actor. Hello, my name is Vanessa Fisher. I'm a proud member of The Palace of the Dogs. I'm an actress, an online blogger, and I run my own grassroots charitable organisation called Stepping Up Salon. Hi, I'm Kieran, and I'm a proud member of The Palace of the Dogs, that's T O P T D. Um, I'm an artist, uh, that's a painter, a writer, and uh, takes many forms. Um, I'm a, also a performer. Hi, I am Gia Phoenix, proud member of the Palace of the Dog. I'm a creative activist, writer and director. The Palace of the Dog advocates arts to marginalised communities as a way of it being a tool to express themselves in a healthy environment. And I really believe that creativity and art needs to be shared amongst everybody because when I'm working with young people, I use it as a form of rehabilitation. So they need to be able to access the arts because it enables them to build up confidence within themselves because they build creative, healthy creative expression. But them seeing other people have creative expression also inspires them further. I believe the purpose of art is about expression and communication. Politically, uh, I believe that um, as a society, we all pay our money into this pot. And I feel like um, the people in control have forgotten that they are representatives for us and seem to think that they need to bend the truth and serve as a false um, narrative about what they're doing with our money. Um, so I care about uh, that money collectively being used to enhance the most um, in need in our society. And I use the tool of arts because I believe that when you're laughing, you're learning, it's a really good way to engage and it's a bridge between what goes on inside our hearts and what goes on inside other people's hearts. Really the part of the art industry I'd like to impact the most is musical theatre in terms of casting and on stage. I feel like it's the least progressive both on stage actually and off stage in the creative teams. I'd like to see um, more black directors uh, creatives, choreographers, producers, more black people in charge of telling our story rather than just on stage. Uh, some of the problems I guess that I've faced in terms of being an artist is being outspoken. Being an assertive black woman that often can be considered aggressive. Being told that you're not black enough or that you're too black. Basically not being the ideal um, representation that unfortunately it seems the white gaze depict as what blackness should be. I created the Palace of the Dogs because I found that there was a point where my where my creative and my activism needed to meet and I felt like my act my creative was not fulfilling my activism. So at first I started off as a as a journalist and I found that I started writing about creative things. But then I felt like there needed to be a merge between my talents as a performer and my activism, which then birthed this this kind of like movement of, of creative activism. We come together as a collective because uh, sometimes as an artist you need to bounce ideas, you need to feed off ideas, and uh, together you can energise each other and bend your artistic vision. Um, to see new points of view. Uh, I'm working with the Palace of the Dogs because I believe that it's just a great platform for new voices to come forward. And as I'm one of the eldest members of the Palace of the Dogs, it is really beautiful for me to work with a set of young people that are visionaries because that's something that I didn't have as a young person. I didn't really know how to have vision. 